So after a great start of the season, we're now struggling. We've lost our star striker, more on that in a second, and we've lost five straight games in the league. We've now got a pesky FA Cup match to, to handle, as well as a big game uh, in the league, and we're going to have to get back on track. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2017 and part 6 of the Palace Push. And today we have the FA Cup match against Millwall, away to Millwall. And then we're playing Swansea City in the Premier League, uh, away from home. So, as I said, the big news since the last episode is that Christian Benteke has left the club. Damn minimum fee release clauses. His minimum fee release clause was thirty-four and a half million, and yeah, Tottenham offered it, and he's he's gone there. He's earning one hundred and thirty grand a week. He's having a great season in the league, and yeah, he's he's gonna be a star for Tottenham. You would imagine. I don't know where he's quite gonna fit into the squad. He's came in straight away and scored three goals for them. Apparently, I don't know what that's in is it in the cup um let's have a look yes so in the fa cup he's just scored a hat trick which is insane uh harry kane is there he scored 18 goals this this season so bentek a and kane up front i mean he scored in his first minute in a tottenham shirt what a way to introduce yourself and we're gonna miss that this season we really are it's gonna be a tough tough ride but we've got 25 million in the bank we've got to go and get a striker let us know down in the comments who you think we should sign um but it's it's going to be tough it's going to be tough to find a a striker as good as Ben Teke for 25 million let's have a look at the last few matches then obviously in the last episode we had the double defeats against Everton and Stoke and we've since went on to lose against Southampton 2-0 and Watford 1-0 and then Man City 3-1 so our form is reflecting Crystal Palace in real life we've only won two of the last 10 games so we really are in a bit of a rut we're down to 11th in the Premier League table sort of riding off our good start um, I remember in the last episode we were talking about being three quarters of the way to 40 points by the halfway stage. We're still not even at that yet and we are only 12 points clear of relegation. If this form continues then we're, we're going to get dragged into that relegation fight. But hopefully we can pick up uh, two victories today, get ourselves back on track and this is the team that I believe can do it. Hennessy will start and goal with Ward, Dan, Sacco and Schlupp in defence. We've got Kabai and Malumbu in midfield with Zahar, Punchin and Townsend starting behind. Moussa Dembele up front, the man who has to take Christian Benteke's place and fill his boots um, while we're trying to find <laughs> another striker and that's going to be very, very difficult to find and yeah hopefully a confidence boost and victory today will help us out so here's ward down the right hand side didn't manage to do anything there i mean ben ben Teke wasn't in the best of form uh as he left us dan has just put us one nil up though scott dan with his first goal of the season kabai with the corner great to see um but what i was gonna say is that Ben Teke wasn't in the best of form. Who was in uh, good form last game was Moussa Dembele. He scored his sixth goal of the season. So I'm looking for him to lead the line now. Um, he's learned from Ben Teke for, for six months. So now he's got to go and, and do it himself. And, and with the help of Connor Wickham, hopefully, we'll manage to turn it around. But um, no, I'm, I'm sort of in two minds of whether to splash 25 million on a striker or whether to just spend 20, 20 million on three strikers and try and get a, a range of goal scorers rather than trying to get a 30 goal a season striker. Maybe we won't need one though. Moussa Dembele scores his seventh goal of the season there. That was a beautiful ball forward by Jason Punchin. And a, a lovely finish from Dembele into that bottom right corner. And we're now 2 0 up. And we can breathe a little bit in this game, but this is only Millwall. After all, uh, no disrespect to Millwall fans, but you know we're a Premier League team. We should be beating Millwall, and uh, yeah, the, the cup could become a bit of a distraction 
this season if we have a bit of a run. We would like a run, uh, to be honest with you, but yeah, we'd we'd rather stay up in the Premier League and not have the sort of Roberto Martinez view of of Wigan when um, Wigan won the FA Cup but got relegated. That was a, a nice little ball through to Dembele, and a, a shame that nothing came of it. He has uh, Williams, now Webster. That's forward to Gregory. Good header away by Dan. He has Green, now Gregory to Williams. Oh, off the bar. Oh, wow, that was terrible. And Fred Onyedima, Dinma, has just got Millwall back into it. Uh, it was a good shot, and you know maybe that deserved the goal, but Hennessy should have been getting up a bit quicker, you feel like, there. Uh, 55 minutes gone, Mamadou Sakno, we don't want him to get sent off, so we're going to bring him off. Uh, we're going to put James Tompkins on at right back as well, Joel Ward not having a particularly good game. And we'll leave it like that for now, and we might bring on Connor Wickham a little bit later for, for Townsend, and uh, and see what happens there. Malumbu away, and well, Tunnicliffe's already on a yellow card, and now... He's going to be booked again and sent off. Yep, Tunnicliffe's off. Ryan Tunnicliffe. They've just made three substitutions. That's, that's scary. <laughs> Goodbye. Into the middle. It's away by Thompson. Here's Romeo now. Romeo on the ball. That's forward to Gregory. Is he going to beat Dan? No, he's not. Dan away. Here's Townsend to Malumbu now. Townsend to Punchin to Kabai to Zaha. Come on. Into the middle and Dembele gets his second of the game. Come on. His eighth goal of the season. That's exactly what we needed. Brilliant stuff from Musa Dembele. Wilfred Zaha with another assist this season. And this is what we need. We need Dembele getting the service he requires to just prod it into the back of the net. And all of a sudden uh, you'll have double figures for the season. And we'll be forgetting Christian Benteke because Dembele is going to take over the mantle but uh, Kabai into the middle now and that is full time 3-1, we're through at the 4th round of the FA Cup we've stopped the rot in terms of consecutive defeats and now we have to go and beat Swansea so here we are for the Swansea City game, a few changes to tell you about but first let's have a look at who we're trying to bring in transfer wise, we're trying to bring in Fabio Barini £3.5 million pound. You know, it's a, a bit of a nothing signing, but we'll bring him in and see what he can do. He's scored goals in the Premier League before, so hopefully he can get a couple. Uh, Marouan Fellaini, we're trying to get him in. Struggling to meet his wage demand, so we'll have to go in again for him. Uh, but I think he would be a good addition. Andre Gray, we've asked uh, what, fed, what price they want. And also the... Uh, Dougie Friedman, the director of football, has went ahead and tried to sign this guy. Maximilian Philippe, a 23-year-old uh, sort of attacking midfielder or striker or winger, so he could play all the way uh, across the front uh, four and even further back if we needed him. And, you know, maybe he would be a good signing, but he has only scored 21 goals in his career so far. So, yeah, again, could be... Um, a bit of a flop signing and for 14 million pounds I think that might be a bit much so we'll see about that one basically so uh, the team for today we've got Martin Kelly at right back coming in we've got Diaby uh, in the midfield and we have got no other changes so let's get into it and hopefully we can continue on uh, the run of form that we started against um, Millwall in the FA Cup so yeah, Swansea are currently 14th in the league. There are a few positions behind us. We beat them earlier in the season, so hopefully we can replicate that. But if we lose again today, things are looking a whole lot worse. Here's Punchin. Now to Kabai. Kabai on the ball, and that's wide. Unlucky. Um, Kelly. Now to Zaha. Zaha. Zaha again. Now here's Dembele. Nothing quite there. He has Koku or Coco, and that's forward to Dembele, and it is a penalty. Federico Fernandez has given away the penalty. Number seven is stepping up, and that is Johan Kabai, and he puts us one nil up in this very important match, and that moves us back into the top half 
as it stands, which would be an amazing achievement, to be quite honest with you, uh, <laughs> considering the last five games we've been looking at, at maybe um, being in the relegation battle, but brilliant, brilliant penalty from Johan Kabay, ever reliable, and we're 1-0 up within the first 10 minutes, but we can't take anything for granted just yet. Here's Zaha now, on the ball, on the counter-attack, to punch in to Townsend, great save, Townsend again, but away now, Coco to Sanchez, Sanchez into the middle, but Diaby snuffs it out, here's Dembele now, come on, can we get a second goal here, and that cushion, that's another bad tackle by Fernandez. I don't know how he hasn't been booked, and Kabai again with the set piece, hits the wall, and well, an action-packed first 10 minutes ends with us, 1-0 up, having had two clear-cut chances and a half chance in that as well. So here's Punchin moving forward. Here's Zaha now to Kabai to Diaby. And that's away to Wilfred Bonny now. Bonny forward to Routledge, but a good tackle by Martin Kelly. Now here's Zaha on this right-hand side. Fails to find the pass to Kabai. He has Dan, though, and Kelly to Kabai. Switches the play to Andros Townsend, who... Brings it down brilliantly, but Fabianski snuffs out the long shot. Mawson away, and this has been an action-packed pack match so far. Um, and look at the title battle, goodness me. Four points between five teams, and sort of seven points between six, so lots of excitement to be had up at the top. But we're not worried about that. Oh, Wayne Routledge is what we were worried about. But he managed to miss, and it's still 1-0 here, and it would be a great result to win 1-0 away to Swansea. And push them back down into relegation troubles, but uh, we know fine well 1-0 at half-time is only half the job done. So, yeah, here's Dembele. That's forward to Townsend, into the middle. Oh, it's off the line, but Punch and manages to put it in the back of the net. I have no idea what happened there, but we're 2-0 up now. In the first minute of the second half, Townsend across, the keeper sort of dropped it and then Mawson tried to get away, hit the post and it went to Punchin who made no mistakes and put it into the back of the net. It's 2-0 now and that's a relief. Good tackle by DRB. Wilfred Bonney has made it 2-1 though. A couple of minutes after we struck, he's now got his fifth goal of the season and now Swansea are back in it and in the ascendancy. Goodness me, this is going to be a tense finish to this match. Here's Rick Ed now to Wilfred Bonney. Oh my goodness me, Tammy Abraham has just scored his fifth goal of the season. But Hennessy, almost in a carbon copy of what happened with a punching goal. I just don't know what he was doing there. And it's now 2-2. And all of a sudden, well, that was a great header by Kelly. Unlucky that Fabianski has cut it out. Here's Routledge. And now Abraham, Abraham, Sanchez, punching, that's forward to Dembele, can he get a goal? Oh, that was a chance for Musa Dembele and he's missed it and he's not having a good game today. So let's bring on Connor Wickham up front. Schlupp is going to come off as well for Riedewald. Punching with a free kick. And punches it into the top corner. What a brilliant strike. And his 16th goal of the season. Where would we be without his goals? What a brilliant f free kick that was. And he's got a good right to stand there. And just appreciate uh, the crowd's applause. That was fantastic from Jason Punch. And two goals today really, really could help us out this season. Here's Kabai. Now to Punch. And, oh, Rick out on the ball now to Wilfred Bonnie. To, uh, Carroll, oh it's 3-3, three, three. Thomas Carroll with the equaliser and another goal bonanza for goodness sake and <laughs> uh, high blood pressure or what, Hennessy should be doing better again, maybe we look at getting a, another goalkeeper in as well as part of our January recru recruitment, Sanchez meanwhile has just forced a good save from Hennessy, we're now at the 70 minute mark and after this highlight, I think we'll be making another substitution. Hopefully it won't be too drastic a one. Here's Ki Sung Young, Britain to Sanchez. Sanchez to Carroll. That's forward to Abraham. Oh, 4-3 oh, now. 
And now we're staring down the barrel at six straight defeats again. And after being two nil up and three two up, we we th fully expected to to go on and hang on to the win in this match. But we could be five three down before we know it. Here's Abraham to Carroll. That's forward to Bonnie. Oh, it's away. Goodness me, that was a bit of a kerfuffle. Here's Lacou. Now to Keith Sun Young and Abraham has just scored a hat trick. And it's five three Swansea. We're now going to have to make a change. But what do we do? Diaby's going to come off and we're going to put Malumbu in there as a box to box. And five three now, Swansea. Unbelievable. Ah. Oh. Well, look at that first celebration. He just did a cartwheel. <laughs> I'm sure replays don't usually go on this long. <laughs> but there we have it. Seven minutes left. And, you know, Swansea. I'm now close to within four points of us. Here's Abraham. How have we lost this game? Right of all the towns then. That's for the Connor Wickham. Sanchez, Fabianski away, it's full time, 5-3 and that's 6 Premier League defeats in a row for us it's not looking good is it Crystal Palace boss unwilling to experiment well, <laughs> there's not much you can do, You've only, we've only got 2 strikers at the club and oh, goodness me you know, FA Cup win aside, six defeats in a row. Surely our position is going to be coming under threat. Uh, I mean, the the board are satisfied, but um, yeah, we've got a a big heap of games coming in the not too distant future where we could easily lose a lot of games. So we've got to bounce back against Huddersfield and Bournemouth, and then by the time we play Man United and West Ham in the next episode, we've got to have six points in the bag, you would say, otherwise things are going to get ugly very, very quickly, and we could be looking at getting sacked. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below, it really does mean a lot for me and for the channel, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.